one of my sew along, we were able to cut out our entire runner. And I am doing the largest one. Um, such a good time. So much fun. If you've ever been on the fence about doing a sew along, I think you should. I made some new quilty friends today. So tomorrow we will be starting to sew. And I think this is not going to take nearly as much time as we have. I think it's going to come together so quickly. I can't wait. Some of the fabric choices that people are doing are just epic level. So I'm excited. I can't wait to show you guys what people are creating. So the Animation Av Runner can also be made into a pillow. And I decided to take this time during the sew along to go on ahead and do two pillows. They're going to come together super duper fast, super duper easy. I just want to take you guys through the process with me just in case you've decided that you want to jump in and try the pillow size. If you know anything about me, you know that I like big blocks. So our first one, it's the pillow is only made of two blocks. And I think I have three blocks. I do. I have three blocks that make up the entire runner, the quilt, whatnot. So it's just going to be the first two. I want these pillows to be similar, but not identical. So I use the same fabrics in some of the different positions. And one of the pillows will have some fabrics that the other one won't have. Yada, yada, yada. But my first one, I'm going to grab this largest piece, A. And then I'm going to grab my two B pieces. This is going to go together so quickly. Now, I know that my labels and tags say things like red and white. And no, this is not red. And no, this is not white. But I'm going to put them in the same places. I know which one is which. So, one of these sets is going to get this piece here. And this piece here. I guess I could just stack them one on top of another. So that way it goes together really fast. Look at how beautiful that is. I am just loving it. And then my second block is going to look like this with a light gray and a black. Oh, I... so for the first block, we are just going to bust this out and then we're going to add these two pieces to the top and we're going to sew these two together first and then sew it to this portion this portion right here and that is going to be our first block for this pillow nice and simple now this is where my pattern gets a little fun and tricky so we've got this fabric here then we've got this one that's going to go here, we're building our second block for this pillow. Then we have a big, beautiful block that is going to go here. Then I'm going to grab one of these pieces. And one of these. I switched these two because that is how the pattern, what the pattern calls for, um, as far as the color scheme goes and everything. Now, what makes this interesting and where it gets a little tricky, especially with fabrics that are directional. I feel like this fabric is directional. This fabric is certainly directional too. This block goes together this way, but we use it rotated. So I'm going to show you what it should look like. Now, as you can see, everything is right side up. This skull is right side up. The moths are right side up and then these other fabrics that I've chosen for the side pieces do not matter. So I just wanted you guys to be sure that you realize when you're putting it together it's gonna go together a little a little different. 
So the way that we are going to piece this is we're going to sew these two together. Then we're going to sew these two together. Then we're going to sew this to that piece. And then this whole piece will get sewn to that piece. Let's do it together really quickly. I'm going to do right sides together here. Sew this guy. Now, both of them have been all sewn together. Now, we just need to figure out which one is going to go with which one. Really doesn't matter too much. It is going to be what it is going to be. But do we like this with this? Oh, I love that. I think it's so cute. Oh, I can't wait till it gets a little bit bigger with the borders. And this one will go with this. If I really wanted to get funky with it, I could put this on the other side of that, but I'm just gonna stick to my pattern with this going on this side. And this looks cool. So now we're just going to sew this to this and this one to this one on the side. Now with them sewn together, we just need to put those top and bottom borders on this. I'm gonna grab some yardage and feel free to resize your borders up to you, however you wanna do it. I think for this, I'm gonna stick to the original pattern. Now we have our two pillowcase main pieces. Now I have cut two three and a half inch strips. One is going to go on the bottom, one is going to go on the top, and all I'm going to do is just sew it on there. Nothing too crazy here, and it's just too long <laughs> to use one strip, so you definitely need two strips for each one. So I have two for this one and two for the other. I'm going to freshen up this edge. And when it comes to pressing those blocks, you press them whichever way you want to. If you want to press them open, you go right ahead. If you want to press them to the right or to the left, you go right ahead. Nothing matches up, which is my preference, my style of design. That way you can do you. And now I will just take this and go right sides together. On the bottom, just on the bottom and the top. That's the design. You can of course do the sides too if you want to do whatever you want to do. But for me, it's just going to be the top and the bottom. Now that I have put both of the borders on, they look so good. Why is this just darling? Like, Oh, sophisticated, gothy. Oh, I absolutely am loving these. Loving them, loving them. I'm going to go on ahead and finish them up and do an envelope back on them really quickly. And um, actually finish these. Oh, I did this fabric and this is just, oh, I love it. All right, let's put a back in on this and um, I'll show you how I'm going to do that. Well, with these pillows, I have taken them and I have lined them, not all the way to the ends, but just enough to cover these seams with some interfacing that is black. And I'm loving these pillows. I changed the pattern just a touch to incorporate some larger borders. I think a 22 by 22 inch pillow is a lot easier to find than a 20 by 22, even though they do exist. But you do you however you want. If you don't want any borders on there, you can go on ahead and make this however you want. This is not a difficult pattern or a difficult pillow. The way that it's designed in the book is to bind the pillow. I don't feel like it. So I'm going to just do an envelope back and turn it and be okay with however that goes. So what you want to do on all of your pieces, I have grabbed a couple you can mix and match or use the same. I don't know. Maybe I'll mix and match because, you know, life is short. So this is the backing. You are going to roll this about a half of an inch up and then press it. 
press it, press it, press it, press it, press it, and then do it again and press it and then just sew to secure it, okay? So I am going to grab my little trusty dusty ironing board here. I guess I could grab the bigger one. It's literally right here. Uh, yeah, I can't. I'll grab the bigger one. If you want to get super duper duper fancy, go on ahead and grab that hot ruler by Clover. It's a ruler that you can press and you can put that down. Again, this does not have to be exact. And I'm just going to turn it up to the halfway mark and iron it. Just like this. And slide it down. They have a couple different sizes of this. I've recently bought this one and I'm loving it because it is just long enough to do some different things with. So, and it's got more measurements and stuff on there, and I like it. I think I got this one from Sewing Art Center. Now I'm going to take that out and I'm just going to roll this over one more time and press it again. This is not an exact science. Doesn't need to be. Just need to get it done. Now I'm just going to take this and I'm not doing anything special and I'm just going to sew it so that it, actually I guess I will move this back a bit. Why not? This is my guard. Y'all know I love to sew with a guard. Love it. double folded and sewn down nice and easy nothing special about that I think I'm gonna mix and match because I have no reason why I'm doing that but I am doing it I'm gonna grab one of these tops doesn't matter which one just grabbing one and I am going to I'm gonna flip these so I'm gonna put these face up and I'm going to put this one down first, lining it up face down, just like this. Actually, I'm going to put the other one down first because when I flip it, I want it to be really no rhyme or reason. I just think this one was sewn a little tighter and better. Okay, I'm going to put this one down first. I'm lining it up with the edges and the sides. Nothing special. Then I'm going to put this one down and it will overlap maybe about four inches or so. I'm lining this one up with the bottom here. Right here, the bottom. And now I'm going to sew it all shut, the sides, making sure to get this side and this side. You might want to make sure that you are sewing a full quarter of an inch. It's going to have some tension on it. 
we are going to start and stop back stitching over these areas really good because there's going to be quite a bit of tension on them. And again, we are just lining these bottoms up. I'm going to throw a couple pins so that it stays. Being sure to start and stop and back stitch where this overlaps. We're going to sew all the corners. Make sure you're putting them right sides together because we don't want any accidents like I almost just had. <laughs> Wouldn't that have been interesting? There we go. And I'm sewing all the layers together right there. So now that we have this, I guess I can trim these corners for funsies. I really don't think it's going to make that big of a difference. Um, and I'm not really worried about them all that much. I am going to turn this puppy inside out. And this one goes this way. And I know all of you sticklers might want to press it and, you know, <laughs> make it all nice and cutesy. And I get that. More power to you. You should, I'm sure. I'm just going to poke this out. And that looks like it comes to a decent point for me. I have my point turner in here, my clover point turner, which is great. <clears throat> And hopefully you guys were able to watch that video of how I sewed this. I just sewed all the way down and then just came back the other direction. Nothing too special or tricky at all. And that's good enough for me. Now I ran to Joann's. They had a pillow insert sale. You guys don't pay more than like 10, 15 bucks for these pillows. 10, whatever. Make sure you catch them on a sale or whatever. And there we have it. A nice envelope back pillow. What is this? What is happening here? Did I miss a corner? I could have sworn I did four corners. All right. And of course, like I said, you can give it a press and zhuzh it and do all the things that you need to do to make yourself feel happy about it. But I feel good about this guy. And then I'll just grab one of these pillows and just stuff it in there. Now I have stuffed and poked at and hit and beat a little bit. And now I'm going to flip. Oh, look at how cute. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. This is just the kind of pillow my husband is going to lay all over and mess up. Shout out to the husbands who do not care about decorative items. All right. Love it. I'm going to do the other one and then I will show y'all some pictures. And that will be, oh my gosh. Oh, I'm obsessed. Animation Av in another variation in a pillow size. If you want to see the pillows that I got, I got this one here. And it is a 22 inch pillow, perfect ultra plush pillow insert. And again, I got this one off from Joann's and make sure you're not paying full price for it. Cause why, why use a coupon? Mm -hmm.